we're still going to do this. So, now I can move here. Let's see. Let's see. We've always been a part of the arts. And my husband and I are retired, and we devote our entire, our entire free time to the arts in Las Vegas. Some of you, it's a joy. Some of you who have lived here a long time know about the Stratosphere Hotel. Well, you've seen the murals around the Stratosphere. Um, my husband back there, Jerry Dustin, is responsible for transforming that neighborhood from a very heavily tagged area into a public art collection. All of the artists are paid through a grant from the city which we apply for, and we make certain that the artists are compensated. We believe very strongly in that. And so it has transformed that area one building at a time, and it's been very, very positive. And through that effort, we were told we had to have a nonprofit. Well, we said we're retired. We don't need a nonprofit. We're not working. We don't need that. But it's been a blessing because we have been able to offer our friends, such as Dear Susan, an opportunity to not only perform, but to receive a bit of compensation for their performances because we offer very affordable performances and the money is divided very appropriately to the Gateway Scholarship for Young Artists and the performer of that day. And I'd like to tell you about one great performance that is coming up, and that is Alex Clements. Uh, he's going to be at the Starbright Theater next Sunday, the 26th. He is with the Osho. He's bringing an ensemble of extraordinary musicians. And I was just on the radio with him a couple of weeks ago, and he announced that he has written a composition in four movements dedicated to gateways. That's a first. We're really excited. But all different styles of music. So I hope you'll join us. There are little um, announcements over in the hallway. And I hope that you will please sign up and join our email list because you will discreetly receive gateway announcements of different programs that are coming up. One of them, of course, is tonight. And we're so excited about that. And at Hattie's house, you will notice many pieces of artwork. The one to, directly to my left was given to us by one of our muralists. 
and he said, because we bring so much music to the valley, it is our song. My husband, our song is through the years. And so he really created that long piece, which is very exciting, and we treasure it. Many of the other pieces in the other room are part of our new collection. The collection will be exhibited, uh, we are hoping, throughout the country. Uh, it is a collection of artist renderings. There are sketches given for every single costume ever made. And we are slowly amassing one of the largest collections of costume renderings. Edith Head was not the only designer of costumes. So uh, I'll give you an example. This is done by uh, an extremely famous artist, and this is actually done for Steve McQueen. And it is signed by the artist Noel Taylor, and Steve McQueen is designated on the back. And these, if you just walk through there, you'll see every penny of every single item goes to the Gateway Scholarship, so it's fully tax deductible. It's a very exciting project that our youngest board member got us involved with. He's a dresser with a phantom. And we just go from one project to another. <laughs> so that's enough of Gateway, except Gateway is so thrilled to be part of the evening tonight. We love Susan. Susan is a special woman, as evidenced by all of her friends here tonight. So would you join me in welcoming Susan Holler and her very special guest. Not of you, cosa so, cosa faccio, ogni po' cosa so, ogni faccio, ogni donna che già ti conosce, ogni donna mi fa calcare, ogni donna, wow, 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 that is the wrong concert. <laughs> Here I go again.
yourself You must behave and I'm saving my love for you
This is a very other day in Germany. Because sometimes the anticipation is better for us, for girls, for anticipating, it sounds like this. This is kind of like a little country song. Oh, he has to hear it because you know what? We don't rehearse these things very often. He comes to town, and so I should run these by him once. So. I'm gonna start, he's gonna catch up. Was that my key? Okay. <laughs> this is why you're at Hattie's house. This is relaxed, but this is not Carnegie Hall, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps you notice that. But it could be. You never know. Next stop, Carnegie Hall. One never knows, do one. One never knows. If Susan Boyle can do it, I have two eyebrows. Tables. I took it. 
each chair. should be there. in Israel. Um, you guys are going to experience my guitar playing. Yeah, 
from Chicago, that's where I was born. Actually, I left there pretty young. But my father used to do a lot of jazz music as a kid. We had music in the house. Nine kids, pretty busy household. I'm the youngest of nine. And we used to um, have quite a time. And my father used to do a lot of blues tunes. My father was a songwriter, also, among many other things. A cartoonist, he wrote short stories. He used to pull the, the window shades off the walls and he would draw whole cartoon strips with his own characters. Of course, my mother didn't like that too much. <laughs> I'd like to do a little taste of some blues for you. Thank you. 
I was wondering if we could bring the microphone up just a little bit. Can we have a little mic, mic action, guys? Number two. Number two. I wanted to do an original piece for you. Ah. Since I see this is original song night. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is a tune I wrote several years ago. Thank you. This is my love song. It's called These Things Remind Me of You. The sound of summer in the trees. A hand on my shoulder with a gentle squeeze. That perfect smile that you keep just for me. These things remind me of you. A card, a gift, and the words you'd say. Just thinking of you as I do every day. A trip to the ocean with a moon on the waves. These things remind me. Walking in Memphis. Walking in Memphis. Walking in Memphis. 
copy of those and if that's an advanced copy of those you're welcome to do that of course we'll be happy to take your money to pay for studio time and um, and then uh, and Facebook is uh, if you would like to join Facebook Gateway on Facebook Gateway Arts Foundation is now on Facebook you can see all the happy pictures from this show you guys will see yourselves in print and on you know did you were you hiding because it's not happening anymore so um, now I've written some new stuff lately, so this is kind of a new one that I wrote, but, but um, my good friend Sandy over here, who I met this week, <laughs> she reminded me that she had, she has a song about bullying, is that correct? She's a fabulous singer, by the way. These girls sing at Unity, Linda and Eddington back here, and Sandy sing together at Unity, and it's really, really quite clever. But, um, so she's written a song called Bully About Bullying, and uh, my daughter actually left a high school because of bullying and moved far, far away from me, so not because I wasn't bullying her. I might have been. I said, you know, this isn't about me. She said, she said that. She said, you know, it's not about me. I said, honey, you know, if it was, you wouldn't be going anywhere. As parents are, was I a great parent? Nah, you would look back. I wouldn't make the same decisions again. But here's the point to this. I have a little song, and we want it on video, so I might cheat and actually look at some words. So there we go. Give it some, uh, give it some uh, New Orleans blues, baby. <laughs> tell somebody what you like before that one just <laughs> Thank you. 
news you gotta drop. Tell them that you came to them because you know they're scared. Thank you. 
coffee because apparently I couldn't do I couldn't operate. Well, and you know I'm not a, I'm not a plaque kind of person, so you just get it on a piece card. <laughs> <laughs> I love those companies. Yeah, well, to give you <laughs> You're never getting a plaque for me, honey. <laughs> Don't you love that? We're giving you a plaque. So um, this is oh, where are we, darling? Well, you've got, um... Oh, yeah, 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 I have to do this one. This is really quick. He doesn't know this one. I'll just sing this along. Uh, yeah, I'm going to joke it up quick, quick, quickly. I could tell. You know, we're, uh, we're, we're so into dream weaving, and we, we, people tell us that we have to have your dreams, have your passions. Well, duh. But, um, <laughs> but sometimes it takes a while to find yourself. <laughs> Actually, I've always known who I was, so I just never, well, anyway, so here was, this was, here's a little, here's a little ditty I wrote to myself, just because, and I tried to teach it to Dana in the five seconds we had before the show started, he's like, no. <laughs> I don't know why. You, if you catch up, you'll catch up, he's like that, he might just break in, sound like, you know, sound like something Gershwin or something. <laughs> this is my little stand-up tune that goes like this. If I were me, I'd have a Grammy and an Oscar and an Emmy on the shelf. If I were me, the prize of Pulitzer would be a prize I earned all by myself. And from Harvard, Dale, and MIT, I'd earn an honorary degree. How happy I would be if I were me. <laughs> if I were me, I would be singing and dancing and romancing all the men. And they'd be bringing me the roses and begging me to pose with them before we all were dancing once again. If I were me, I'd drive a classy car where the roof opened up to the stars. What a good life it would be if I were me. If I were me, I have a choice to play in movies where the women have a cause. If then I would sing in all the concert halls around the world and bathe in the applause. <laughs> Miss America's decree is winner is contestant number three. What a lush life it would be if I were me. He's tinkling back there. If I were me, I would be taking all my friends to lunch where now I pay instead. If I were me, I would be, I'd have a guy that was romantic and manly in the bed. Then we'd be out helping people find dreams. And life would be as good as it seems. And that's okay with me, cause can't you see that as I'm filling my coffee cup, it's nice that it finally showed up. Yeah. 